Magandang tanga ali MPC. Welcome naman sa ating regular press briefing with Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Spokesperson Salvador Panelo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Let me share to you this proclamation number 922, declaring a state of public health emergency throughout the Philippines. Under Section 15, Article 2 of the Philippine Constitution, it is the state's policy to protect and promote the right to health of the people. Whereas Section 23, Article 6 of the Philippine Constitution provides that in times of national emergency, the Congress may by law authorize the President of the Philippines for a limited period and subject to such restrictions as it may provide to exercise powers necessary and proper to carry out a declared national emergency. Whereas Section 7 of Republic Act number 1132 provides that the President of the Republic of the Philippines shall declare a state of public health emergency in the event of an epi epidemic of national and or international concern, which threatens national security in order to mobilize government and non-governmental agencies to respond to the threat, whereas the Secretary of Health has confirmed the local transmission of coronavirus disease in the Philippines, whereas the outbreak of COVID-19 constitutes an emergency that threatens national security, which requires a whole of government response aligned with the four door framework for COVID-19 of the Department of Health and the efforts of all concerned government agencies and local governments under the LGU, whereas, kalabo naman ito. Pinahirapan niyo pa ako eh. Whereas, such declaration, mas malabo nga yun eh. Such declaration would facilitate the implementation of the relevant provisions of RA number 11332 to address the COVID-19 threat, including but not limited to mandatory reporting, intensify government response, and measures and enforce quarantine and disease control prevention measures. And whereas the declaration of a state of public health emergency would capacitate government agencies and LGUs to immediately act to prevent loss of life, utilize appropriate resources to implement urgent and critical measures to contain or prevent the spread of COVID-19, mitigate its effects and impact to the community and prevent serious disruption of the functioning of the government and the community now, therefore, I, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, President of the Republic of the Philippines, by virtue of the powers vested to me by the Constitution and law, do hereby proclaim as follows. Section 1. There is hereby declared a state of public health emergency throughout the Philippines due to COVID-19. Section 2. All government agencies and LGUs are hereby enjoined 
to render full assistance and cooperation and mobilize the necessary resources to undertake critical, urgent, and appropriate response and measures in a timely manner to curtail and eliminate the COVID-19 threat. Section 3, the Secretary of Health may call upon the Philippine National Police and other enforcement agencies to provide assistance to addressing the COVID-19 threat. Section 4, all citizens, residents, tourists, and establishment owners are urged to act within the bounds of the law and to comply with the lawful directives and advisories to be issued by appropriate government agencies to prevent further <coughs> transmission of the COVID-19 and ensure the safety and well-being of all. Section 5. The state of public health emergency shall remain in force and effect until lifted or withdrawn by the president. And witness whereof I have herein to set my hand and cause the seal of the Republic of the Philippines to be affixed down in the city of Manila. This eighth day of March. In the year of our Lord 2020, by the president, signed by the president, and by Secretary, Executive Secretary Salvador C. Medial Dea. Now, in connection with this proclamation, may we request and urge all media outlets to kindly publish all the statements made by Secretary Duque and all the bulletins issued by it so that our countrymen will know how to react on the present crisis. All media outlets, which means all television stations, radio stations, and newspapers. I'm ready for any question. Thank you, uh, Attorney Panelo. MPC question. Jingi. Hi, sir. Yes. Sir, sabi mo until further notice. I mean, uh, it depends to the president, sir, no? Kung hanggang kailan yes. niya uh, ililift yung ano, yung uh, EO. Okay. Sir, following this EO po, the presidential... This is a proclamation. I uh, proclamation, yes, sir. Um, following this po and the localized um, transmission ng COVID, mm. the Presidential Security Group wanted to implement po the no-touch policy for uh, to the president. Yes. To the president. What is the president's take on this, sir? He always follows the advice of the PSG. That's for his own health. Pero walang lockdown sa Malacanang, sir, no? I don't think there is. Okay. Salamat, Jingi, MPC, uh, Pia. Sir, following this, um, sinabi nga ng PSG that they will be assessing yung mga uh, schedules ni President Duterte. Ang uh, uh, pinaka nakalagay din sa schedule niya for this week is yung Boracay, sir. And uh, natanong ko din yun kanina, sir, uh, the efforts of the DOT to use President Duterte to promote uh, domestic tourism. Uh, tuloy pa rin po ba yun, sir? I will ask him. We will be meeting this afternoon. Interagency will be convened and he will be having a press call. Perhaps you can even ask him direct. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Pia. Question MPC. Uh, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I, my, I, my question is, um, uh, because uh, the Chinese government is making efforts to uh, fight against the epidemic, so does the Philippine government and the, uh, will change, exchange the experience with Chinese government and work together to fight against the epidemic. And uh, uh, another question is the number of the uh, confirmed cases in, the, uh, in China is declining now. So will the Philippine government consider to uh, release the travel ban to China? To what? The, to release the travel ban. Uh, uh, <clears throat> thank you. All these things will have to depend on the 
recommendation of the Department of Health. The president will decide on the basis of the recommendation by the Department of Health as well as the World Health Organization. The Chinese government and the Philippines are coordinating with respect to containing the virus, and for that matter, all governments, because this requires cooperation of all countries in the world. Follow up? Follow up on that? Celerina, uh, uh, are, you, are you through? Celerina no, Pia. Mike, please. Uh. Sir, with this proclamation, um, mm. do you have uh, any idea how much budget could the government or uh, the various agencies could immediately tap to address this um, problem? I really do not know. We have to ask the Secretary of Health. How did, did you ask him that? Should have asked him earlier. Sir, how about um, will you urge uh, Congress to immediately pass na yung supplemental budget? Like, the there's this 30 billion supposedly. I think members of Congress need not be urged or pressured into doing that. They know the emergency and they know what to do. So, do you think with this proclamation, uh, Congress could fast track? the passage of that supplemental budget. Everything is possible with Congress. Thank you, Celerina. Uh, Pia? Pia? Sir, is Malacanang looking at other efforts to prevent the spread of the coronavirus? Uh, kahit dun sa government sector lang, like for example, yung mga work, for, work from home scheme. Nakikita po ba yan, sir, ng Malacanang? Well, everything that will help contain the virus the government will certainly adapt. So that's one possibility, sir. Yeah, everything is possible. Everything that will successfully restrain the spread of this virus to the communities. Thank you, sir. Salamat po Jen, Kalimon, tapos Sam. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Uh, sir, ano po yung extent po ng no-touch policy, sir? Pati po ba, sir, sa family members? Pati po sa cabinet members and sa guests? Kailangan ba mag-undergo muna ng screening or test bago well, makalapit sa... you know, we, we have to be practical. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen how the virus contaminates. And touch is the most <laughs> number one magnet of the virus being spread. So if you notice kanina, you know, I did shake the hand of Secretary Duque. Instead, I <laughs> gave the envelope. Siguro, we should practice that also. Pati ngayon mga doorknob. Kasi malagyan lang ng virus yun. Siguradong papasok. Makadikit ka lang sa may infected. Sa damit. Meron ka na. Tayo na lang mismo siguro mag avoid So keep on washing your hands with regular soap for 20 seconds. Sam, then Trisha. Uh, Mike, please. Wala yung Mike. Ayun. Sam. Okay, sir. Itatanong lang po namin kung yung proclamation po ba na re recent proclamation ni President regarding COVID-19 will allow local <laughs> government units to top their calamity fund. Oh, yes, Definitely. Precisely, that's one of the reasons why. Will it be limited, sir, for those areas na may confirm na COVID-19 cases or lahat ng LGUs pwede pong gamitin yung... Basta kailangan nilang gamitin. They have to use it. Tricia. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, pinapatulong lang ng office. Uh, bakit po hindi executive order yung nirelease ni President instead or just a proclamation order? Iba yung dating ng proclamation. Kasi pag proclamation, ano yan, nationwide na deklarasyon ng isang presidente. Kapag EO, sir, what would be the difference? And, eh, kung ikukumpara mo executive order sa proclamation, syempre mas ma, ano, presidential proclamation. Thank you, Trisha. MPC, question, Pia. Balik na kay Pia. Uh, Sam, mic please. Sir, how much is the government looking to get from your operations ng POGO for COVID-19 response? 
What would you mean, how much? Because you said, sir, that the continued operations of POGOs could finance the uh, government response on COVID-19. So I'm asking, sir, how much, how much? are we expecting? Well, as to much as it's needed, I suppose, if they're just there, we can use it. Incidentally, I heard Congressman Salceda saying that it's not even 17 billion, it's 22 billion pesos. Because he's the chairman of the committee on finance and thing. So are we looking to get at, at least half of that, sir? Paano, sir, yung parang breakdown, how are we going to spend yung ating kita or revenue from POGO operations, sir? Hindi ko alam yun, ano? That will depend on the Secretary of Finance. And siguro depende rin sa request ng DOH, Department of Health, kung ano mga kailangan nila. Sir, on uh, POGO, sir, you said mm. that the president will not stop or suspend the operations of yes. POGOs following said. the recommendation of PAGOR. But you said before that uh, the government is waiting for, uh, or the president is waiting for a comprehensive report on uh, all the issues uh, kung saan involve yung POGOs. Did the president consult with other agencies as well to get uh, parang a better view or uh, yung tungkol dito sa issue ng mga pogo, sir? Apparently, he has enough basis to say not to stop or suspend apart from Pagor's recommendation or report. Uh, how can you say that he has enough basis? Sir? Uh, because he has already decided it. The president does not decide just like that. He's a very cautious person. So, paano yung process niya, sir? Did he consult with other agencies? I don't know how he consult, but the president, when he makes a decision, it's a decisive one, and he has a basis to support his decision. Sir, did agencies, like, for example, the Bureau of Immigration, submit a report? I don't know about that. Issues? I, I don't know. I have no personal knowledge. Uh, like AMLAC, sir, on money I have no personal issues. knowledge of that. But the president certainly will have access to all of them. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, salamat, Pia. Um, follow up kay, uh, kay Ace, pagkatapos Joyce. Secretary, what's the President's view on the report that POGO's transactions, some of them are linked to illegal drugs? Well, that has to be validated. Mga reports pa lang yan. Eh. <clears throat> you know, there are agencies whose function is to enforce the law in their own territories. So they need to effectively enforce the law, like the customs, the immigration, the PNP, the NBI, dapat gumagalaw in relation to the operations of POGO, and for that matter, all operations of any entity. Okay, sir. Kasi sinabi nung AMLAC sa isang Senate hearing, hmm. part ng transactions are linked to yung suspicious activities, including uh, yung illegal drugs. And we know the president's stance on illegal drugs naman. So yung ganong information, they are not enough for him to say or think parang, di ba kailangan tignan muna natin to bago hayaan mag-operate? Alam mo yung mga ganon, they are, they are immediately being investigated. Ongoing palagi investigation, anything na makarating kay presidente, iniimbisigan ka ganyan. Okay. Yung decision ni president that he, will, he won't suspend POGOS, Final na yun, or it can still change depending on developments? Eh, hindi ko alam. Basta yun ang sinabi niya sa akin. Will it, can it still be, you know, reversed? That depends. Reversed? It's the call of the president. Always the call of the president. Kasi hindi pa tapos yung investigation ng Senate. As I said, when you make a decision, in the, in, yeah, <clears throat> just like the president, he makes the decision on the basis of circumstances prevailing at the time of making that decision. When circumstances change, there may be a change of position. So, hindi natin alam. Thank you, Sek. Follow up sa Pogo, Joyce. Sir, can we say that what we get from Pogo outweighs the social ills or issues associated with it? You know, you're sinasabi niyang social ills. That has been with us for the longest of time. The same problems crop up when the Koreans came. Ganun din ang mga reklamo naman. May prostitution, may... Pero, 
as, as I said, yung mga governmental agencies, ang dapat na nag address noon. Kailangan ginagawa nila ang trabaho nila para masupil mo. Kung baga, you cannot be burning the entire house just because there are so many ruts there. Pero sir, sa process ng pag-consider ni President Duterte, with given your social ills, issues with Bogos, mas matimbang sa kanya, mas naging matimbang sa kanya yung what we get. Hindi, siya, hindi sa matimbang. Ang, ang nakikita ko kay Presidente, yung problema ang sinasabi nyo, yan ay ma-address yan ng mga governmental agencies involved in enforcing the laws. And then, sir, you mentioned kasi malaking bagay sa COVID-19 response yung what we get from Pogo. So, once this issue is already sorted or resolved na yung COVID, will then be consider suspending or at least being ano, yung mas kahit ma walang, sa COVID-19? Kahit walang COVID-19, yung nakakuha natin sa Pogo ay malaki. Kung 22 billion, there's so many projects to be funded by this government. Okay, sir. Follow up, Joyce. No more. Still on Pogo. Pia. Follow up. Sir, how can the public be assured that the president is not turning a blind eye to all these issues? Itong money laundering, uh, prostitution, drugs, because kumikita tayo dito. I will repeat what I said. All these issues on illegal practices are addressed by the agencies involved, customs, immigration, AMLAC, they should function very well so that they can stop whatever illegal practices or corruption that are present. Pero yung view, sir, ng ibang, uh, ng, ng ibang legislators is that all of these issues can be stopped if you suspend or stop the operations no, of Pogos. No, I disagree with them. You know... <clears throat> Kumisan tuloy, naiisip ng <laughs> may nagsabi. Hindi ako nagsabi. But it made, it made me think, why are some critics want the Pogo operation stop? When it, it's giving us so much funds to finance projects. Eh pag wala, <laughs> wala kang pampinan sa mga projects, then failure ang mga projects mo. Pag nag-failure ng project mo, di failure ng gobyerno. Sir, ano yung directive? Since nag-usap kayo ni President Duterte, hmm, the directive ano yung directive is regarding the what? agencies? Oh, regarding the directive. Mga dati naman ang directive ni President Duterte, basta merong illegal na practice, gawin nyo ang trabaho nyo. Prosecute nyo, hulihin nyo. Ganun la, palagi ang kanyang ano. Otherwise, heads will roll. Kung nalaman niya na wala kayong ginawa. Di ba? Uh, last na lang, sir. Sir, can you qualify yung sinabi niyo, sir, na itong nangyayari or na-experience ng Pilipinas because of POGOs is the same na na-experience natin sa pagdagsa ng mga Koreans? Could you qualify nah, well, that well, statement? In sir? other words, what I'm saying is, yung mga problema na supposed to being lumalabas, eh, Ordinaryong lumalabas yun kahit sa anong panahon. Kailangan mabigyan natin ng solusyon yun by the agency supposed to be concerned with peace and order. Yun ang trabaho nila. Kahit anong panahon dumating, eh kaya dapat nagtatrabaho sila para masugpo mo lahat ng anomalia. Like sir, yung security concerns na yung reports that there are apparently 3,000 members of uh, PLAs here in the Philippines, that's an eh, hindi nga, unverified naman yun. <laughs> unverified, unverified naman yung mga reports. Even the source is saying na, I have not validated this. Uh, tax evasion, prostitution, Aba, edi, po prosecute money natin. laundering. You know, kung there is a crime, we have to prosecute. And that is what the government is doing. Thank you, sir. Salamat po yung MPC, question? Uh, follow up, uh, Joyce. Balik tayo kay Joyce. Sir, we always keep on mentioning the big revenues we get from Pogos. Wala na po bang ibang pwedeng pagkuhanan ng revenues ng government? Why do we have oh, to set Meron it? tayong tax system. Oh, in addition to that, eh, apparently kulang. Hindi ba sa dami ng... Ilan ba tayo? 105 million Filipinos? 
There's so many projects, maraming napabayan, walang isa build, 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 kaya nga may build, build, build tayo. Kaya maraming naging problema. Kung bagay itong presidente itong ginagawa, lahat ang paraan. Pero at this point, sir, wala tayong ibang alternative source of revenue. And do we, ha do we really have to settle to let this uh, operations eh, with ang problema nga, pinagpipilitin nyo na yung pogo, eh masama. Eh hindi naman masama. Ang masama, yung mga nag operate na iba. O oh, edi yun ang tigilin natin, i-prosecute natin. Hindi ka nagparehistro, then we will require you to register. Sa SEC, if you commit this crime, then we will prosecute you. If you're illegally making business here, then we will stop you. Yun ang pareho nga yun ng yung bahay mo, maraming rats. You don't burn the house. Tanggalin mo yung rats. Sige, sir. Joyce? Wala na. Di mo ba alam na yung rats kumakain ng kahoy? <laughs> MPC, question? Wala na. Uh, Pia. Uh, other matters? Sige, Pia. Uh, sir, si, uh, Twitter recently locked out the account of uh, DFA Secretary Teddy Loxie Jr. Doon sa mga... Uh, Twitter recently locked out yung... Uh, or parang sinuspend yung Twitter account ni DFA Secretary Teddy Loxie Jr. Yung lockout niya? Yung Twitter, sir. Twitter, Twitter niya? Kasi Kailang apparently ganyan? nagkaroon ng violation when he tweeted that... Uh, ano to? Uh, yung sa bayan, sir, na dapat daw barilin because they are... Uh, FN Communist, gano'n, sir. Um, anong masasabi Sino dito, sir? Sino nagtanggal nun, siya? Twitter, sir. Kasi ah, Twitter nag violate ng kanilang uh, rules. Uh, and hmm. this is a first for a ranking government official, particularly siya pa ang uh, foreign affairs secretary natin. Um, hindi po ba siya pagsasabihan ng palasyo to tone down his language? It, uh, you know, that's between Twitter and Secretary Teddy Boy Luxin. Bakit naman papasok ang gobyerno dyan? Eh, yun ang kanyang means of communication. Doon siya effective. Ba't namin pagsasabihan na tuwigilan mo yan kung effective siya doon? Eh, He's a responsible government official and effective in his job. So, walang nakikita ang problem, sir, yung sa language, na ang uh, pala siya doon sa language na ginagamit ni DFA Secretary Luxin, considering na dapat, dapat nangunguna siya sa pagiging diplomatic Go beyond the language. Look at the meat and the essence and the substance of what he is saying. Just like the president. Like when he said that these are um, effing communists, you shoot them, you don't listen to them. Referring to <laughs> Bayan, sir. Eh, baka naman hyperbole. Eh, parang, kung baga, parang style presidente, hyperbole lang. So hindi parang na, same lang sila, Hindi sir, naman na, literal yun. So same lang sila, sir, ng style ni President today. Eh, siguro, baka ka... Similar. Kung effective siya doon, hindi yaman lang. Salamat, Pia. Uh, MPC, no more? Maraming salamat, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel and Spokesperson, Salvador Panelo. Back sa... Mayroon mga biddings, hindi pa pwede. Yun pa rin. I will, I will just remind the Secretary, or rather the Senator, that... Even in that law about bidding, there is an exception, a negotiated contract known, and it will apply to national emergency. Baka nakalikta niya. Maraming salamat, Secretary Panilo. Balik tayo sa Radio Pilipinas at PTV4.